This is it. After an epic fall split, Sierra West will be sending SK Gaming and Team Liquid to the Clash Royale League World Finals to face off against the best teams from Sierra Asia and Sierra China. Here are some highlights from the fall split to show what the top two teams of Sierra West are capable of. Our first top play is in this match against Diego B of Team Liquid against Fei of Fnatic. Diego B is playing a graveyard deck and he places the perfect graveyard and is able to skillfully dodge Fei's snowball. With Diego B's Mega Knight tanking, this little Larry skeleton is able to deal over 400 damage and take the tower all by its bony self. Obviously, we're just kidding, but it was definitely super fun and exciting to see the little skeleton take out the tower all on its own because of a snowball that was a single tile off target. In this match between Surgical Goblin and Uray, we see an excellent defense by Surgical. Uray has a Miner, a Baby Dragon, a Lava Hound, and an Inferno Dragon incoming on Surgical's side. That's a total of 18 Elixir. Using just the Executioner with a Tornado and a Cheeky Ice Spirit, Surgical Goblin is able to incinerate Uray's entire push, and the Executioner is able to walk away healthy, living until the very end of the match. Our next highlight showcases the incredible 2v2 gameplay of SK Gaming Sam and Morton. Sam and Morton are playing against the God RF and Aw Crap. In a 200 IQ play, Sam sends the Miner in this exact spot in order to kite down Aw Crap's Baby Dragon. The reason Sam chose this exact tile for the Miner was so the Baby Dragon would be in the perfect spot for Morton's Magic Archer, the chip at the Princess Tower. That Magic Archer chip damage was absolutely necessary for the win. This next epic play is in the match between SK Gaming against Tribe. It's down to the 1v1 set and it's Javi versus Tommy. Tommy is so close to taking out Javi's tower, and there's less than a minute left in overtime. Javi has a Dark Prince and Fisherman push incoming, and Tommy responds with a Magic Archer. That's when Javi does an epic prediction and plays an instant lightning, taking out a defensive Goblin Cage and the Brawler. This forces Tommy to play an emergency bandit to stop the Dark Prince from connecting, but it's too little, too late. Javi plays good defense and takes out Tommy's tower with less than 30 seconds left in the match. Our last highlight is in this final match of CRL West with SK Gaming facing off against Team Liquid to see who the winner of the fall split would be. Morton is playing an extremely fast 2.4 elixir cycle deck and we see him using his chief cards to execute a perfect defense. Diego B has a 15 elixir push coming down the lane and Morton is able to defend flawlessly. His troops are even able to mount a counterattack and overwhelm Diego B for the win. I for one am super confident that SK Gaming and Team Liquid are going to show why Sierra West is the strongest region in the world. Make sure to subscribe and tune in on December 7th to see the most epic Clash Royale gameplay the world has ever seen. Thanks for watching. Ha ha ha!